What's up, you guys? It's Matt here. So I think uh, making that video yesterday talking about Terra Luna Classic was definitely interesting, right? Because a lot of comments, you know, or a couple of comments came across saying, hey, you know, it didn't get that low of a price and you have no proof that it got that low. And it was tough finding it because a lot of exchanges um, pause trading and they pause trading at like the four or five zero level. However, the price got lower than that. The price went down to six zeros. And I wanted to kind of find that area to where the price was reported to that low. But no exchanges will report that low because they all pause trading. I even had on my live stream where I was like, Binance has stopped trading. Binance has stopped withdrawals. They've stopped deposit. They've stopped everything for Terra Luna Classic. And I talked about all the different exchanges that were doing that at that time. Now, this was around May 12th to May 13th to where we saw all of this activity that was falling even more and then going from about 3 billion coins to a level of uh, 3 trillion coins and then 6 trillion coins uh, total or total of uh, actually 7 trillion coins um, in the end um, or close to it. It was like 6.9 or 6.87 or something like that. It was 6.9. It was. Um, but anyways, they added on all these coins. You saw the price go down to a lower level. A lot of people saw it at a extremely low level where it could have been an opportunity or it was just a falling knife and don't catch it and all of that. And I saw it as an opportunity to invest money. I wanted to invest more than $43, but I only invested $43. Now, granted, I did invest before I invested the $43. However, I invested the $300 or $500 that I invested. I can't remember exactly how much it was, but I made money off of that, right? I invested, uh, it was $300. I invested $300, I made my money back. I made um, you know, $500 total, but then I made my major investment of $43, gaining 63 million. So this is where all of this comes into play. Yes, I did invest beforehand. Yes, I did make money beforehand, but then I ended up making money as I invested in the $43 and bought 63 million. Um, now, I tried going through a full breakdown of it yesterday. I mean, I really don't have to prove anything to anyone, but I just wanted to get all the proof out here. So when it does take off and, you know, people are like, hey, you know, this person really um, did they really invest $43 and turn it into millions of dollars? Well, you have all the proof here before we get to that point. So that's why I want to make the video. It's not for validation for um, all of these comments or any comments that are coming through saying, hey, you didn't do anything because I could care less, um, you know, what you guys that that are that are truly trying to criticize or hate on the fact that I found a great price in a position um, and actually bought at a really low point. Um, I could care less about what you guys have to say there. Um, I just want to do it for my own sake so that when it does come to the point where they're like, oh, this hit $14 or $100 or something, and I'm making millions off of a $43 investment. Well, now it means so much more than somebody investing $5,000 and turning it into a million dollar gain, right? Um, I invested $43 and turned it into a million dollar gain. Sounds a lot better, right? obviously feels a lot better, more newsworthy, and I have proof for it. So anyways, guys, I wanted to kind of take you through um, kind of another bit of proof that the price did get to that level. So guys, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more videos like this one. Also, make sure you guys check out some of the links down below. It does help out the channel um, quite a bit. It helps out growth quite a bit as well. Um, but yeah, let's go into uh, Terra Luna Classic. Let's look at and do a little bit of an update on where it is right now, and then we'll go into some other information here. So uh, anyways, currently it's at 0.000 .000 1957 or 1956. It's up about 2.42%. Um, we saw it at a high of 2077, uh, three zeros, 2077. Uh, you could see it at the market cap of $1.16 billion, um, fully diluted $1.35 billion. If you look at the market or sorry, the volume, you're seeing $321 million, which is down 37%, but that's understandable after seeing a pretty decent size increase in volume yesterday at like $500 million, uh, dollars. It always sounds weird saying $500 million when it's like, like that's a big number. But, um, you know, it just sounds weird saying that much because it's like you, you don't typically talk about volume in, in that 
uh, in that way. Like typically I'm looking at my own price or looking at, um, uh, looking at my own portfolio and I'm not seeing $500 million. I'm not saying it often, but anyways, that's, it's neither here nor there. Um, uh, circulating supply, we're still seeing 5.9 trillion, uh, total supply, uh, 6.87 trillion. Um, so that's where we are with the price. That's where we are with the movement. We haven't seen it really skyrocket. It has made some moves, some massive moves in the past day or two. Um, but not crazy to where it's like 50% or a hundred percent of a move. So that's where Terra Luna Classic is. So anyways, where is this coming from? So I'm getting some comments as I go across here, like this comment right here, um, where you have 63 uh, 63 million for $40 would have been approximately a price of 0 0.00000063. Uh, did Luna actually go that low? I can't find anywhere the chart where it did. Um, love the videos, just curious. So that's great that, you know, you're bringing up this, this topic. And this is not a, a hater, just trying to understand if it did get that low, because a lot of um, exchanges will show you that the lowest price, if I go here and the lowest price in the last year, um, would say 0 0.000016. So it's only showing four zeros as the lowest price for um, for Terra Luna Classic on Coin Market Cap. So if Coin Market Cap's not reporting that, you're like, that's not the lowest price. It only went to four zeros. How'd you get six zeros out of that? Well, if you go to certain places, and I had to search a little bit because if you go to a lot of these exchanges, you're not going to find it. So I had to search it a little bit and talk about how this is the lowest price. So the lowest price paid for and what they showed it as. Now, it was actually a little bit lower than this. So I don't know where they're getting this number from, but it's at least closer than what you see on a lot of exchanges. Because where I bought it, I bought it on uh, PancakeSwap. It was open for trading there. It was also not on uh, the Terra Classic chain. It was on the Binance Smart chain. or um, And uh, it was a wormhole instead of being Terra and Luna Classic. Sorry, my nose itches. <clears throat> but you can see here that it's getting closer. So we're at 0 0.00000099 is what they have as the lowest price. And at the current level, it would be a 19,000% gain. Now, at the all-time high, you would see it at a lot higher of a gain. Obviously, it would be three times what that is, which would be about a 60% return, 60,000% return. But I bought at lower than that. It was 0 0.00000006. So this at least, at, oh, can't speak. This at least gives us a little bit of proof that it did go lower than the 4-0 mark and the 5-0 mark, seeing that on May 13th, when I bought it, it was at a low price of um, six zeros and a nine, when I know it was at six zeros and a six. Um, and... If you do see in that comment as well, you're going to see that someone else said, I bought when it was at 0.00000006. Um, it was six zeros, um, but the exchange didn't want to show, um, didn't want to show it uh, or doesn't show now. I don't know why I bought um, 1.6 million for $1. That's where it's absolutely insane. That's what I'm talking about. Um, so I said, people don't believe what they can't see. Um, uh, exchanges, uh, wait, sorry, exchanges blinded them. Sorry, my nose is itching so much. Exchanges blinded them from the opportunity and now they don't believe uh, that it happened. I mean, the opportunity was there and people are jealous that everybody got or that I got the opportunity and some other people got the opportunity, but you have proof from other people that have also bought at those low levels. So um, I'm excited uh, about what's to come for uh, Terra Luna Classic, but I just wanted to put this out here so people know um, that six zeros was a dream price and it wasn't just a dream. It was reality. So guys hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell for more videos like this one. Also make sure you guys check out some of the links down below. It does help out the channel. I'm going to go put some lotion on my face or something because it's itching. My nose is itching, but, uh, luckily this is the last video I'm recording. So I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.